Hey everyone, this is Coach Malon for Youth Football Online. Today we're going to be discussing the old football trap play off toss action from the I formation. Fullback trap is a staple in the I formation offense. It also pretty much has its roots back from the old wing T days, in the old buck trap series, buck sweep series. Off trap toss action, your fullback normally is a lead blocker. A lot of times teams like to offset him to get him out in space a little bit faster to help block the perimeter. However, since he's already offset, a lot of teams, when they see toss action, will like to overplay this. So, a nice play off of this is to have him come underneath and get a nice trap underneath to hit him back inside. A good quick hitting play, very fast play, and it's a counter play too. Because, action's going this way, but play's going back the other way. Fast, counter type play that could be very successful in your offense. Starting with the line, you can run it to or away from the tight end. You would like to, however, most instances, run it to a three technique, wherever he might be, or the technique that's outside the A gap. If he's a four eye, a four and an odd front, or if he's a three technique or a head up two and an even front. No matter what, you'd like to run it to this front. So if you're getting a nine and a three technique to the tight end side, that's preferable. If they're giving you an under front where they bump everybody down, and they put this tackle now on the weak side over here, you'd like to run it to the split side if possible. It doesn't have to be that way, but it's preferred. It's an easier trap block for your guard. The rules for full back trap. Play side tight end is going to have a base block. Play side tight end will almost always have some type of nine technique. If he has a seven technique, we can do different things here that we can fool around with, but against the traditional front, he's going to get a nine technique, step inside, get him out of there so he doesn't slam and beat you. Play side tackle is going to be base free. If he has an outside guy, he's going to base block him. If not, he's free. Right now, he's free for the Sam linebacker. Play side guard. Now, it's important not just to know the rule for the play side guard, it's also important to know the split. You want to have a good split here. So if your traditional rules are two feet, two and a half feet in the I formation for the guard, you'd like to see it split them out a little bit more to maybe three feet. Okay? The reason why we want them out to about three is we want the, uh, room for this guard to pull and trap this kid. If he's too tight, if this split's too tight, and this kid's on a hard charge inside, it's going to be tough to get good separation and a good trap lock on him. So, we'll tell the play side guard to cheat out a little bit to about three feet. It's not that noticeable, especially if you're at two and a half already, three feet won't be that noticeable for a defensive coordinator to pick up on. Now, if you go out to four feet, yes, that would be a little bit much, so you always have to look at this and tinker around with it a little bit. Play side guard, inside for inside linebacker, okay? Inside release, step down, get up vertical, block the mic or backside inside backer, whoever it might be. Very, very, very important that you teach the play side guard to really dip and rip the shoulder on this. He has to dip his outside shoulder because if this three technique gets a piece of him, he could squeeze him all the way down to the center and it's going to blow up your backside guard's trap block. You have to get a nice tight release, squeeze, get low to the ground, grab grass, whatever, you, however you want to teach it, and get up vertical for this mic. Center as an all pull plays, most pull plays. PPGH, protect the pulling guard hole. This guy's pulling, so you got to protect this hole, block him out. Remember, most important thing, get him to go outside. Don't let him cross your face, get him to go outside. Get your helmet on his inside number. Backside guard is going to have a short trap block on a 45 degree angle. Similar to other videos, if we're trap blocking, we do not want this guy to pull flat. If he pulls flat, Anybody who's good at playing this position will wrong arm it and blow up the play. You have to pull on a 45 degree angle. When I teach our guards, our guards will take one flat step, turn his shoulders, and every other step on since then will be on a 45 degree angle. If your offensive guards don't know what a 45 degree angle is, just tell them on an angle. It's easier. Whatever it is, he's on an angle, he's going to go right off the center's butt. The center's going to block right here, and he's going to be very tight. Tight, 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 tight. We can get a good kick out. Backside tackle is going to cut off. You can have him gap hinge if you want. However, if you're doing an off toss action, this defensive end is going to see toss action, 
going to see right here. So if he sees a cutoff inside, he probably will not be a part of the play. So I feel like, don't waste this guy. Have him cut this guy off, especially if you have twins out here. He can cut off a guy who might end up being a, you know, somebody coming in late. You know, maybe after he gets a five-yard gain, he makes a late tackle. Cut him off. He's more dangerous. Now, your defensive end is head up. You know, he's slanting a lot, or if he's inside, then obviously you got to cut him off and take him. But we like the cutoff move for him. The fullback is going to take one short step. It's going to be quick. He's going to take a short side step, and then he's going to come underneath and get the ball on an underneath handoff from the quarterback. Quarterback's going to reverse out, toss action, spin, and then an underneath handoff to the fullback. So it'll be right about here. will be the handoff. You want your tailback? Toss, 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 ball, 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 whatever it is. Pure fake, like he's getting toss. And then underneath. Reverse out. Underneath handoff. Jab step. Underneath, get the ball, outside arm up, or inside arm up, I'm sorry, and then come and go right inside this trap block right here. You get him picked up, you get him sealed off, you got the fullback against the safety, which is exactly what you want on this play. Again, key coaching points, the trap technique, three foot split by this guard, the release by this guard, and then the cutoff of this backside tackle. It's a great play. Awesome if you run a lot of toss out of the eye formation. If you like this play and you want to see more of it, please go to Youth Football Online. Click uh, subscribe. It's fantastic. They have a lot of other plays, not just from the eye formation, but also from the wing tee, from the pistol, from the gun. It's all available for you to use and use at the youth level, high school level, wherever you're at. But please go there, Youth Football Online. Click subscribe and enjoy.